Here we have a uh, 2002 Lexus, it's an ES300, and what we're going to be doing on this one is we're going to be uh, replacing the, uh, the ball joint. Uh, this is the replacement. Um, when, you, when you look at the computer, the computer tells you that the right way to do this job is uh, and to replace it is going to be to remove the axle nut and pull the axle out of the uh, out of the uh, the car so we can gain access to this nut right here uh, I want to show you a trick that I've done over the years to save some time when you look it up on the on the computer it gives you actually about two hours in time to do it uh, with this trick and the alteration of the tool um, I can do it in probably about 15 minutes and, and save a lot of time so um, let me grab some tools and I'm going to get started and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this carter pin right here and then obviously we're going to take this nut off. Now the right way to take the nut off is to take the axle, pull the axle back so you can get on here with the box end of a wrench. Um, but there's not enough room inside here, not enough clearance to get a, a wrench in through there. So well, let me show you how I did it and uh, let me grab some stuff, be right back. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, obviously take out the carter pin so we can uh, try to get in and get that nut off. And to get the carter pin out, you're basically very simple. Just bend the carter pin up. Sometimes they're, they're pretty rusty in there, so sometimes you have to play with it a little bit to get it out. If it is rusty, you just rock it back and forth a little bit and just tap it. And sometimes you can get it out. And sometimes you can't, so and then grab the Sorry to uh, interrupt, but the, but the pro I, I couldn't get that car pin out. It was rusted in there pretty bad, so I just had to cut it and pull the uh, the uh, car pin out. Um, I usually don't like doing this, but in this case here, because I've used it so many times already, I sacrificed the wrench uh, by grinding the end of it down a little bit. Now I'm able to uh, to actually get it into the opening right here, where I have to get in to get that nut out. See, it doesn't fit inside there because the axle is too close to the nut itself. So what I did is I sacrificed the wrench that I had, a duplicate, uh, just ground it down a little bit on both sides, enough to get the, uh, to get the wrench in to the, um, onto the nut. And it fits right over the top of it. Obviously you want to make sure it's all the way down. And and just break it loose. Once you break it loose, then you can use the open end portion of it to get it out. All right. Then just use the open end part of the wrench, and you can turn the, uh, the nut off of the uh, ball joint all the way out. Um, this one is extremely rusty, so it is uh, kind of difficult getting out the, the carter pin. So I didn't want to bore you with the uh, carter pin removal, but it's a kind of sometimes a real pain in the rear end. What you got to do is you cut the end of the carter pin off and you just hammer it through with a, uh, with a very small uh, center punch, and you can knock out the carter pin and then you can continue. Um, now, as you see, when you get this up to a certain point, you can't go any further because the nut won't come off. So what you got to do then is you can take a, uh, it's called a fork, and you can separate it. Whoop. You can separate it right in here with this fork. Back you up for one second while I take a good swing of this thing. To give you an idea sometimes how tight these things are. 
and then you'll, you can hear it, the pitch change and it popped right out. Let me get you a little closer. And then you just push down on it, unscrew the nut all the way off, and you can take it out. And we're done with the fork for now. Next thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to take off the nuts on the bottom of the uh, on the bottom of the ball joint, and we're going to remove the ball joint. If you have air-powered guns, of course you can use it. If not, you can use a regular socket on it. Saves a lot of time without having to uh, remove the axle and take out the, uh, the vehicle speed sensor. Get in here with a pry bar. And pry down. A little bit on the control arm. And you can take out the ball chain. Uh, let me grab the replacement and we'll put it right back in there. Get the ball joint into the control arm first. I'm sorry, into the uh, to the knuckle first, and get that nut up on top there. The reason I had it tight is because this this heat shield in the back right here is a bent. We're going to straighten that out before we let the car go, and then you catch your nut on the uh, on the ball joint. Screw it on as far as you can by hand. All right, then we'll, we're going to put the uh, ball joint back in, into the lower control arm. We just pry down on the control arm. There is I just used the screwdriver to uh, to twist this a little bit so I can get it to go through the frame there, and then just tap it up. And what you're going to do is you're going to just screw your two nuts on, you know, tighten them tight, put the two nuts onto the uh, to the new ball joint, and then we need to get the uh, the bolt into the uh, into there also. So we'll catch all of them first before we do anything. Once everything is caught, then you either use the air or if you're doing it by hand, do it by hand. Tighten this up now. This one here is a little bit bigger. The one that came out was a 19 millimeter. The replacement on here, this, this nut is actually um, 7 eighths. Normally, I like to tighten it with a uh, a box end of a wrench, but in this case here, we're not going to be able to. So we're just going to make it as tight as we possibly can with this uh, 7 eighths wrench. The 7 eighths is less likely for the jaws to open anyway. So you can get it fairly tight. Okay, that's it. Let me just show you real quickly. It's real close to the to the bottom of the. Uh, let's see if you can see this way. You see how close it is to the bottom of the uh, the axle. 
but you won't be able to get a wrench in there, but you can use the box end. All right, um, so you can save yourself a bunch of time by doing a shortcut, and uh, that's it. We just have to straighten out the heat shield here, and uh, that's it. We're good to go. All right, thanks for watching. I hope I save you some time, and I'll see you guys on the next one.